is that he's just a great scorer. Just and um, this year he's he's you know playing now, so he's you know we're just we're just used to seeing him do it. So but now you know everyone else is starting to see it too. So he's a he's a great player for us right now. It was real good. You know I've been waiting for this for over a year. It's been like building up. I've just been waiting to play, and I just get, came and gave it all out tonight. Just just played my hardest. I wouldn't. You would. This, this, this is perfect. This though. is. God only made one blueprint of me. You know why? <laughs> Couldn't handle the competition. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Coach uh, Rob Sacker. We've talked about his personality a lot over the years, and uh, a lot like Roni Turioff in that way. Just a fun guy to have around. But let's talk basketball. And what is his upside? And how good can he get throughout this season for you? Well, I, I mean, I think he's he's had a, a rapid uh, ascension as far as his uh, uh, physical skills uh, from when he first arrived on campus. I mean, he, he has worked very, very hard at becoming uh, somebody uh, capable, who's capable of scoring down there with his back to the basket. And I, I think he showed that last year. In fact, he did it so well so early, I don't think he was really prepared for the double teams that came his way, you know. And I think now he's worked real hard. Uh, dealing with double teams that uh, uh, will happen uh, this year, and I, and I think he'll uh, handle those a lot better. Obviously, that's that's one area that I think he'll uh, show improvement. You know, uh, other areas I think he needs to continue to work on rebounding, especially rebounding outside his area. Uh, it's something that uh, could really help. Uh, you know, other than that, uh, he uh, he does so many things well that I don't think. You know, just the general layperson sees. I mean, the way Rob shows on a ball screen as a big is is as good as probably anybody in the country. And uh, uh, the way he posts and seals, and he seals properly and fundamentally. He does not seals with his lower body and his hands are up. Uh, you know, read my lips. He should never be called for an offensive foul on <laughs> when he posts up. We've had other guys that don't post up properly. This kid posts up properly every time, and he's just so big and strong. I think sometimes he gets punished for that. Uh, you know, whether guys flop or they, you know, they they call him for dislodging. But he does so many things right. He's he had a, a very good high school coach. He's a very good uh, uh, listener and learner here. So. Uh, you know, he's, he's somebody we're really, really counting on. And he he and Steve and, and E, uh, you know, they just can't have games off. You know, this team needs them to be very, very consistent with their scoring and their rebounding and their uh, defense. All right. This is the Mark Few Show. This is what's coming up next. We wrap things up and talk about the regular season and the upcoming schedule. First, time for our Yokes Fan of the Week. It's actually two fans. It's Tony and Ed Mitchell. Married on Wednesday the 3rd and sharing it with the entire McCarthy Athletic Center. Congratulations, Tony and Ed. Stop by the Gonzaga display at participating Yokes Fresh Markets to pick up your Gonzaga game day supplies. Foods perfect for watching the game. One lucky shopper each week will win tickets to see the Zags live. That's the Gonzaga game day supplies promotion only at Yokes Fresh Markets. Stay right there. Saturday at 1 p.m. on FSN and FSN HD. And welcome back to the Mark Few Show. Okay, Coach, we're wrapping it up. You've got a week ahead. The games count now. Southern and then IUPUI. Uh, Southern, of course, Rob's dad is the athletic director down there. He's probably going to be at the game. Uh, what's the week hold for you guys, and how good are these teams? Well, I mean, the week holds, like you said, these count now. Mm -hmm. So uh, all of us across the landscape of college basketball, I mean, we, we're trying to form our resumes. And each and every one of us at the end of this year is going to have, you know, 30-plus games on there. And, and what we did with those games is how we're going to be judged. And nothing that we did last year is going to affect, you know, uh, uh, these games. So uh, we've got to, you know, take this week and there's 
numerous things we can uh, need to get better at. So hopefully we can take another step. Uh, we have Southern coming in here on uh, uh, Friday, immediately followed by uh, uh, IUPUI, uh, a day, you know, or, or a rest day, then IUPUI. That's a team that's been in the NSA tournament uh, quite a lot, you know, in the recent past. So they're used to success. Uh, ha have some uh, players that have uh, had a lot of success, and then immediately another day off, and then immediately following that is probably one of the best teams we'll play all year, uh, San Diego State. I mean, uh, they are picked to win the Mountain West Conference. They have all five starters back. Very athletic. Uh, very experienced, got a coach who's, you know, been all the way to the national championships, and uh, Steve Fisher does a great job with them. So, I mean, that, that is, is a heck of a stretch to go, you know, basically three games in five days. So, uh, uh, we, need to, we need to have a good week of practice to get ready for that. Uh, have a good week, Coach. This has been the Mark Fee Show. We'll see everybody next week. Thanks for watching. Basically, as close as an old man can get, I think, without you know coaching them, and I don't want that pressure. You know, I don't. Uh, no, I, it's just a fantastic opportunity to be around the game, close to the game, a game that I love. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to see it in a way and explain it in a way that is new to the people that are listening. It's just a wonderful way to kind of stay close to the game and especially close to the program.